Here's your daily update. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi, and thanks again, everybody. Hoping that you're having a great weekend. I got an email from a classmate of mine from high school talking about something that she was worried about, and she tagged along an article about people who forget to take the money, not out of the ATM, but out of those automatic checkouts. Now, many of the big stores have those. My Walmart over here does. And you can ask for cash back if you use the Walmart card or a debit card, for example. But what if you get busy or something goes wrong and you've only asked for $20, which is a lot of money, but it's not as if you ask for 100 and you leave it in the tray? Well, apparently an awful lot of people every year forget to take their cash back. And the question is, what happens to it? Well, it might be an unscrupulous employee who takes it, or it might be the customer who follows you who takes it, but in any case, most stores have surveillance cameras. About three weeks ago, I asked for $40 back, got talking to a lady behind me, and you know how much I talk, I forgot to take the money. It was four hours later when I thought about it, and I called the store, and they said, come over. What had happened was the lady behind me took the money when she came back. And the reason she came back is that she had purchased two soft drinks and left without her receipt. When she came back to get the receipt, because the guard wouldn't let her out, she saw the money and took it, the person working that automatic check stand area questioned what she was doing, but didn't ask about the money. Walmart watched the surveillance film, claimed it was their employee's fault for not doing a better job, and gave me my $40. But that doesn't happen every day. So the moral to the story is anytime you ask for cash back, make sure you pick it out of the slot. I'm Dennis Daly with your daily weekend news update.